life verses, and this is a verse that always comes to mind, almost daily even, and it's Jeremiah 29 11, pretty famous verse, and it just says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, and plans to give you a hope and a future. And, you know, it's just so encouraging, I think, daily to, to just think about that and be like, okay, God, you have my life under control. You know what every minute of the day is going to hold, and I just surrender my life to you and say, use me, God, use me today, and, um, yeah, that's basically my verse. <laughs> I think for me, my life verse um, would have to be Romans 12, 1 to 2. And uh, actually, I have an interesting story how that, that verse kind of became like my own kind of life verse. Um, it was when I rededicated my life to the Lord, and I was in high school, and I was just sitting on my bed, you know. I wasn't really living the life of, like that Christ wanted me to live at all. Like, I was just you know, whatever, you know, living through life. And um, so I was sitting on my bed at home and uh, I was getting ready for bed and I always read my Bible every night though, for some reason. I think it was because my dad always told me to read my Bible every night. So I opened my Bible and I was just going through the different pages and uh, I just felt like God was just saying, he was just whispering, Romans 12, Romans 12. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna read Romans 12. So I went to Romans 12 and it says, therefore I urge you brothers, in view of God's mercy, offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing and perfect will. And when I read that, Honestly, I was changed in an instant. Like I really realized what it what it meant when people said the living word of God. And it just jumped out at me and I was like, whoa, you know, this is what God has called me to do. He's called me to live a life fully just pleasing to Him and just to give Him, you know, my relationships, my finances, just everything over to Him. And so that is something, that's been something that's really stuck with me through my whole life.